if scientists invented a teleportation system, but the death rate was 1 in 5 million would you use it, why or why not? 1 in 5 million, yes, I absolutely would, those odds aren't that bad. I like those odds, says man who died. Ah yes my luck, r slash 2 mirror 4 mirror, bar. I'm sure other forms of transportation have worse odds than 1 in 5 meters. Depends. What is the death like? If it's like Stephen King's The Jaunt, then hell no. Okay please tell the gist of it. I too want to be existentially terrified. A summary, teleportation is successfully invented. But people need to be fully unconscious for it to work, or they come out the other side completely deranged, and die soon after. It turns out that, physically, teleportation is near instant. But mentally it seems like millions of years. If a person is left conscious, they experience millions of years of oblivion, where they can still think and experience emotions, but have absolutely nothing else going on. At one point in the story, someone murders someone else by pushing them through a teleportation portal without setting an end destination, implying that the victim will be stuck in that conscious oblivion either for literal eternity or until their body dies naturally of dehydration slash suffocation slash whatever they die of in the void, which might as well be an eternity, given how long a fraction of a second feels like. I sure wouldn't take a 1 in 5 million chance of that. Why would they build a teleportation portal that could function without setting a destination? Anyway, sounds like slash r slash Ashel Edison. Most safety devices are designed after an accident. Sure. I live in London. I'm sure the death rate for just stepping outside of my house is worse than this. Edit. Guys, we've been you out of blink. Youtube. Com slash watch. V equals 3 glvix a 3 se 0. I completely missed the million on first glance of the title, and was really worried about the state of London. Using it 5 million times sounds tedious, I think I'll stick with toaster and bathtub. Even if you use it 5 million times you still have a 36, 79% chance not to die. That's disappointing. And the chance to die will never be 100% so in theory you could be really lucky, or unlucky and teleport 5 billion times and not die, and lucky? Yeah, without question, with odds like that, it's probably the safest mode of transportation you could find. Accidentally teleports to a house fire, if you could teleport in you could just teleport out, right? Teleport in teleport out, 20 minute adventure Morty, damn Morty, you're on fire. Yes. Those are better rods than most transportation I think. But I would be doubtful of teleportation anyway. Who says the person going in is the same as the one getting out? Would I be the man in the box or the prestige? Nobody cares about the man in the box. That's because he's buried in his shit. Won't someone come and save him? Still a better survival rate than all the other means of transportation. People are worried because the 1 in 5 million feels random. This question phrases the odds of dying as a roll the dice and you might die kind of thing, while in the real world you're aware of your surroundings in real time. I don't think anyone killed in a car wreck was expecting it to happen though. Situational awareness still fails. I think it's more likely that people expect to not die in car crash and believe that by remaining vigilant they won't die. It's not about actually having control over it. It's about feeling you have control. If I only used it to commute to slash from work over a 30 year career I'd have a cumulative 0.3% chance of it killing me. Assuming I can't do anything to improve my personal odds like standing very still, or swatting any flies in my immediate vicinity right before transport, I still don't know. Let's try another perspective. There are 155 meters employed Americans today, so if ever American only uses the teleportation to commute to work then 70 people per day will die just commuting. NTSB says about 100 slash day die in traffic accidents, all driving not just commuting, so the numbers are reasonably close. Now consider second order effects like, if everyone else used the teleportation, my commute would just be me, and interstate shipping transportation. My individual chances of having a traffic accident go way down with fewer commuters on the highways. 
so the option A or B of driving or teleportation math starts to change in favor of driving. Assuming only organic matter and personal belongings, because modesty can teleport and not large crates of oranges and Barbie dolls. Also figure that with a drastically reduced number of variables on the road would make self-driving vehicles an even better slash safer proposition. And my commute becomes an hour long peace and quiet time to read or Netflix. I'm convincing myself to the no column here. So I'll just assume I keep finding reasons against the teleporter and decide against using the magic death trap. If I only used it to commute to slash from work over a 30 year career I'd have a cumulative zero. 3% chance of it killing me. This is all I needed. I can instantly get to wherever I need. And it's far less likely to kill me than any disease. Sign me up. Don't forget reduced stress from not driving and being in traffic which leads to low chances of heart problems and other stress related deaths. Well I don't have a car. Just take public transport. But, yes, I can see how for y'all in the ass of her it's even more tempting. Just googled, what has a 1 in 5 million chance of happening? The answer, death by hot tap water haven't heard too many of those cases. So I would take my chances here. That seems like lifetime odds, though. So if you only plan on using it once, then yeah, go for it. That's better odds than flying in an airplane at 1 in 3 million. And considerably better odds than simply walking down the street or getting in a car. From what I can tell this scenario means an even safer method of transportation. I would pick it over all other methods. There are 12. 5 deaths per billion vehicle miles due to motor vehicles in the US. What we want to know is the average distance you have to cover when you get in the car before you achieve a 1 in 5 million chance of dying. The odds of dying while driving isn't linear. For example, if you drive 80 million miles, that would look like you have a 100% chance of dying and at 160 million miles you have a 200% chance of dying. That is obviously wrong. What we want is a probability distribution that gives you a cumulative probability of dying of 0% at 0 miles and 100% as you approach infinity miles. What we need is a poison exponential distribution. Exponential distributions work over continuous scales instead of discrete scales. This distribution follows the format PM X equals 1 e carrot x backslash backslash k where PM is the probability of dying per commute, X is the distance traveled per commute, and K is the probability of dying every mile. 12. 5 deaths slash 100 million miles, so, after 50 miles, your probability of dying is, PM, 50, equals 1 e carrot, minus 50 backslash backslash 12, 5, slash 1 billion, equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
driving for 80 million miles would take 121 years straight at 75 miles per hour. So probability of death at some point on that journey approaches 100%. Until we have someone live to be 137, I think it reaches 100%. 1 in 5 mil is no problem. The thing they'd have to prove to me is that the me coming out is the me going in, not a copy. And that stream of consciousness continues. Edit. I know a copy would believe it was the original. But let me put it differently. Imagine I make an exact, down to the last quantum state. Memory. Everything. Copy of you with the same process of teleportation. But the original is completely preserved. Now there are two of you. You and your copy. Now you are told, there can be only one. One of you gets a bullet in the brain. Ask yourself, is it irrelevant to you which of you dies? Would you go just throw a coin? I don't care. The difference is, with teleportation, you backslash backslash no it's backslash backslash you backslash backslash the original. Getting that bullet. Second edit, the proof by philosopher just a bunch of philosophers make a perfect, totally perfect, copy of each of them. Then, for each pair, do the following. Randomly give either the original or a copy a gun with a single bullet and a coin. Then tell them, you can shoot yourself. You can shoot your copy. In both cases it will be totally painless. You can also use this coin to decide if you wish. If you decide not to do it, both will die painlessly as well. Then see how many of them roll the coin and how many of them shoot either themselves or their copy. What do you think will happen? What would you do? Note, I'm betting the guy with the gun shoots the other. Whether he is a copy or the original. Third edit, if a clone was made, and the original had, for example, death by snoo snoo, that'd make it something to consider. Just saying. Yeah, that's a hard no for me. Yes because I would be able to visit my so more often. Colon closed bracket. Considering I get everywhere I wanna be, and could possibly die trying to get away from Disneyland. Why not? Much safer than cars. Of course I'd use it. I'm not stupid. You slash guilty underscore coconut couldn't believe all the people freaking out about warp good decay. A terminal disease that you had a 1 in 5 million chance from getting by using teleporters. A 1 in 5 million chance to die. What idiots. For 6 years. They hadn't had to sit in traffic. They'd vacationed in faraway countries. They'd watched interstellar travel take off. As bases on the moon and Mars were easily supplied using the new technology. In the 4 years of government and privatized testing. There really hadn't been any drawbacks once the math was settled outside of the Juno incident. Then, three years ago the first person died of warp decay. Warp decay was what they were calling the event that occurred when someone used a warp gate and long afterwards some pieces of their body, usually on a cellular level at first would start snapping back through the gate. Nobody knows why it's happening. And there are a lot of theories. Some of the networks are calling it teleport cancer but that's just because they want to spread fear. It's not like that at all. Your body doesn't eat itself. And you can't cure infected sites. Your body just leaves you. And since you're made up of billions of cells, you probably don't even know you have it. It just ends up being extra dust in the gate center you left from that appears days, weeks, or years after you left. Something not even noticeable with regular air filtration cleanings. But for whatever reason, additional teleportation usages seem to speed up the process. And since folks don't realize they are experiencing warp decay until later in the process, they usually accelerate their deaths by years or months before it's caught. Still, is it worse than being trapped in a burning vehicle? No, of course not. So you slash guilty underscore coconut didn't think much of it when their dentist told them that they were going to need to get them in for some fillings. That they had some serious cavities going on since the last visit. They didn't connect it when they were having issues reading at night without glasses. Or that their muscles sometimes felt sore, like they'd been at the gym even though they hadn't. But last week they were playing a mobile game. Fighting off a cold. Maybe the flu, because they felt like shit. And in front of their eyes they noticed a lesion begin forming itself across the back of their right hand. Not gradually, but over the course of seconds. They went to the doctor, but this time, they called a Luba for a ride chair. There are no chemical tests for warp decay. 
The doctor takes x-rays, uses enhanced imaging, and looks for the signs. Patches of bone loss, fluid buildup, hair loss, lesions, tooth and male brittleness. It didn't take long for the doctor to come back with her best assessment. An advanced stage of warp decay. Her recommendation to your insurance would be either for scaled pain medication, or if you wanted, you could take one final teleport to the lunar colony, there the lower gravity would make your final weeks or months less distressing, and your bones would hold up longer in the lower gravity. Perhaps it could even elongate your life to offset the acceleration of the long range warp. You'd have some decisions to make. Thankfully, you weren't stupid. No. But, not just because of the rate of death, when I was an adolescent I read a book that discussed interesting philosophical questions aimed at younger readers, and one of them was whether or not a teleporter would just kill and disassemble you, and reassemble an identical you who thinks they're you at the end point. I don't care if that other me would be very happy about teleporting. I also don't care if the me that comes out the other end is one of the 1 in 5 million that reappears as a corpse. As far as I'm concerned, I'm probably dead as soon as I get beamed up. Important. Is the death instant like a telefrag? Or horrific and prolonged like event horizon? <laughs> one fifth million. Man you can't even die using it so why bother? Broken a credit question. Maybe if he said one fifth instead of one fifth million it would be much better. Then it wouldn't be worth the risk at all. I agree with your point. Maybe one in ten. Zero 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 or something. Let's wait 20 minutes and see another credit thread titled which odds you would be fine with to use such teleportation system. No. Having to wait 5 million tries seems like a waste of time. Depends what the teleportation method is. If it's Stargate, wormhole, style, then you probably would be the same person. If it's Star Trek style, then you probably died on the first teleportation and are a reconstructed copy of yourself. So the original you technically dies on the first trip. I won't use it no matter what. The idea of breaking down the matter that makes you up and reassembling it in another place sounds like it just kills you and creates a perfect clone in another place. That's existentially terrifying to me so no thanks. It'll take the long way. What if this teleportation device acts like a wormhole? Matter deconstruction wouldn't be a problem. Then it'd probably be cool with it. Scientists develop a new form of transportation that is literally better than cars in every single way and safer. Do you use it? Fucking kidding me up in here. Depends on your feelings about teleportation death philosophy. Teleportation death rates are 100%. Depends on the teleport tech. Trek is 100% death yeah. Culture probably isn't. Would definitely use it still. It's not a big chances anyway. I'm taking higher risks than that every day anyways. Win win either way. All I can think of is Warhammer 40k, where the odds of death are probably something like 1 in 5 or 1 in 10 in that fictional universe when it comes to teleportation. So 1 in 5 million, I would take those odds. This is Reddit. If the worst case scenario is death, then most people will be down to try anything. But how do you die? Head teleports to Comic Con, but body sent to Wegmans, incinerated in seconds, sent to Rillian. It would really depend how it worked. My personal belief is that Star Trek style teleporters actually kill you, and then generate perfectly indistinguishable copy. Your conscious existence is terminated, and then a perfect copy begins a new life somewhere else. Believing that it's you. I'd use it to teleport to work and avoid traffic. It's killing me anyway. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.